Welcome to Coffee Convo Wednesday. This is Coffee Convo Wednesday. I'm your host, Cindy Simmons. Oh my goodness, it is the last show of 2020. Yay! That means that 2020, get on out, out of here. This is episode 241 for Wednesday, December 30th, 2020. That's the last time I want to say that this year. Thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is not your first time, welcome back. We're going to be here for about 15, 20 minutes. We'll talk about three things, and then I'm going to give you something super fun at the end of the show. So do me a favor. Whatever you're doing right now, like this video, whether you're watching on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, give me a big fat cheers. Cheers. And let me know what you are drinking while you're watching Coffee Cava Wednesday for the last Coffee Cava Wednesday of the year. I feel like being very over like when I say that the year, you get a new year, you get a new year. We all need a new year. Can I get an amen? Give me a little like, a little love if I can get an amen. All right. So like I said, if this is your first time here, my name is Cindy. We've been doing this show for about, I don't know, five years now. <laughs> I am a family of five, part of a family of five. It's me, my husband, Eric. He owns an awesome promotional products company called my smart shirt you can find him at my smart shot my smart shirt really dot com for any of your promotional products needs we have two daughters 15 and eight and then my four-time cancer surviving mama jane who lives with us yay we live in orlando florida but i was born and raised in california I almost said disneyland i was born and raised in california about 30 minutes away from disneyland and now we're in orlando florida about 30 minutes away from Walt Disney World. So yes, we are a Disney family. Radio is my background. Um, I have worked in radio since I was going to college in California, then in Nashville, and oh, yeah, also while I'm mentioning Nashville, I just wanna say my thoughts and prayers um, go with everyone who has been affected by that horrible situation there. And for the six heroes that risk their lives to save so many. God bless you, God bless you. It's such a beautiful city and I hate what has happened there, it's, it's awful. Um, then we moved to Atlanta and now we've been in Florida for about three and a half years because I love me some sunshine. So I'm gonna give you a cheers. I'm giving you a cheers with a rainbow unicorn cup with a sweatshirt that said good things are coming why? Because good things have to be coming. Because I don't know about you, but I am over this year. This year is, and I am ready to start new. Um, this is from Shushu Baby Boutique. It's a women's boutique where I am the brand manager. We have a store here in Winter Garden, Florida, where I live, and then also one in Bloomington, Illinois. You have to watch the live videos that Natalie, the Shushu Baby Boutique store owner, does every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon. Kind of like what I do, but she actually shows off clothes, which is so much fun. She does them every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. live, and it's like a shopping show. So she shows you all these clothes that you can buy online, which is super fun. So if you want an invite to be a part of the Shushu Baby Boutique VIP Facebook group, just drop me a note here underneath, and then I will send you an invite so you can join our Facebook group every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon. It's so much fun. Um, and yes, everything I've been wearing for the last year here on Coffee Cup of Wednesday is from Shushu Baby Boutique. So I would love for you to follow them on Instagram, um, also on Facebook. And then I'm also part of the Party City Joy Squad. So every month we do fun projects on PartyCity.com. I also share them here on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. So depending on where you're watching the show, you can go to PartyCity.com or any of my social channels to check out the fun projects that we've been doing every month. We um, are just doing a fun New Year's Eve in because most of us are staying in this year. So I did one with our kids, which is super fun. So I hope you get to check that one out. So thank you. I have to say congratulations. Let me get it here. Congratulations to Pam B. Pam B in Maryland. She got this super cute Disney Parks tote bag that we gave away last week. So adorable. Um, congratulations to Pam in, oh, did you see that? I didn't want you to see what we were giving away yet. I want it to be a surprise. Okay, so let's get started with topic number one. I was trying to think if there was anything I had to tell you. Oh yeah, I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Ours was 
super chill and low maintenance. It was cold here in Florida. And by cold in Florida, I mean, it was like, it was 40 degrees. <laughs> but that's how we roll here in Florida. I can't help it. I know everyone in the Northeast is like, really, that's so cold. Oh my goodness, 40 degrees. It's like a heat wave, but it's cold. It's cold for us Floridians. All right, topic number one. I wanted to share something that I'm super frustrated about and I just, I, I made it the first thing we were gonna talk about so I can talk about it and then move on with the show with some more fun stuff. But I am a breast cancer survivor. I had cancer about 10 years ago. If you watched last week's show, you heard me talking about how I had to go get an MRI, which for many years I had to do every single year and now it is every year, year every other year. I couldn't say that every other year. So last week on the show, I was talking about how much I can't stand getting an MRI because you're in this like enclosed thing and it's really loud and it's not fun, but I am all for the whole being alive thing. So I will do whatever I need to do, mammograms and MRIs and whatever, because I would like to live for as long as humanly possible. Thanks God. So I went and did my MRI. So here's where I got really frustrated. frustrated about it. When I had my MRI, the gentleman told me that I would have my results in 24 hours. So that was a week ago, Monday. And they didn't call on Monday. I'm like, okay, so they, this imaging place has to send the results to my doctor. Now my doctor is supposed to call me and give me my results. If you have never gone through cancer or no one in your life has gone through cancer, it may be hard to understand the extreme anxiety that it gives you when you're waiting for your results. If you've ever had to have some sort of important test where you're waiting for your medical results, then you understand. It's a, uh, it's a very stressful situation. So knowing that I was gonna have them in 24 hours, I'm like, yay, hopefully it'll be good news and I can go into the holiday weekend. So Monday comes, goes by, nothing, Tuesday, now, I start calling on Tuesday. I call the imaging places. Oh, yeah, they haven't been read yet, but we'll make that a priority. We'll get it done today. Nothing. Wednesday, I call last week when I was doing the show. I called before the show. Um, yeah, the doctor's office. Oh, we haven't gotten them yet. I was like, mm, yeah, see, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, and I'm trying to have, like, good Christmas news, and yay, so yay. Can you help the sister out here? Nothing. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I call the imaging place and my doctor's office, nothing. Thursday, a gentleman at my doctor's office says, I called over there, they haven't been read yet. I was like, weird, because yesterday they told me, we're gonna read them today, we're you know fast tracking it, making it a priority. I was like, okay. So Thursday, this gentleman at my doctor's office says, I'll call you back, I already talked to them, they're gonna read it today. And then they close for the holiday weekend, and I, am sick to my stomach. I call the imaging place and what do I do? I start sobbing on the phone, like uncontrollably, like, I don't know why you don't understand what it's like to be a cancer survivor. I just, I was so embarrassed. Like I just started crying and guess what? She didn't really care. She didn't really care. So I had a good cry. My husband came home from work and I was a mess, like a mess, because then I realized I was gonna have to go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and not get my results till Monday, <laughs> or so I thought. So I made a decision that I wasn't gonna let it ruin my Christmas. I'd get through the holiday and be with my family, which is my favorite thing to do, and Monday I will call. Sure enough, I call Monday, I call my doctor's office. They still have not given you the results. I'm like, well, I need you to give me the results. You have to get them from the imaging place. The imaging place still has not given us the results. And I am like, you've got to be kidding me. Meanwhile, when I'm on hold with my doctor's office, there is a recording. Thank you for calling blankety blank cancer centers. We pride ourselves in informing our patients and keeping that dialogue open because stress and anxiety is the worst thing that can you know, be for your health. And we pride ourselves in communicating and giving information to you to alleviate the stress and anxiety. Like, oh, they must be talking to everyone else but me. So that is Monday. We're gonna get that result for you. Um, okay, 
So they call back. So we got the imaging from the imaging place. The doctor has to read it and then she has to call. And I get it, like the front office person can't give me the results. And they were very nice at my doctor's office. And I said, I, I don't understand. This is Monday now at four o'clock, like, come on. They close, I get no results. Yesterday, they finally, finally call me mid-morning and tell me my results are all clear and I am negative. Woo! So obviously I'm super excited and I don't want this story to negate that fact, but I just need to back up for a second. That treatment is unacceptable to me. And the reason I'm telling you is because I could have just let it go there and I could have, but then I thought, you know what? No, no one should be treated like this. And I understand that I'm not the only one. So it's not a, oh, you should just, you know, give me my results. However, this wasn't just like I fell and I hurt my elbow or I hurt my knee. This is cancer. If you know anyone who's had cancer or you've had cancer, you understand what I'm saying. Waiting for your results to find out if you are still clear of your cancer or it's come back is devastating. Every day that goes by, it's, it's like a day full of stress and anxiety. And I am super faithful, hashtag faithful. So I rely on my faith, but I'm human too. So every day that you're waiting and you don't find out is extremely agonizing. It makes you irritable, moody, and just sad because you're like, why doesn't anyone care? So I decided to tell the nurse, the, I was speaking to the head nurse and I just said, hey, can I just ask you something? Like, what can we do moving forward so that this doesn't happen to anyone else. Never mind me and the fact that I've had cancer and my mom is a four-time cancer survivor. So this was uber stressful to me, but no patient should have to deal with this. And then I thought, you know what? I need to be an advocate right now. I need to speak up and say, this treatment is not okay. You shouldn't have to wait eight days to find out if you have cancer. And I know COVID and all of that, if I had to wait eight days, there should have been some communication between the imaging place, between my doctor's office to say, hey, this is what's happening. We're bogged down because of COVID. We're bogged down because we had a bunch of knee injuries and we had to do a bunch of MRIs or other cancer, like something. There has to be communication. My mom, <laughs> my mama Jane always says, in this day and age, with texting and phone, all the ways to communicate, you should be able to communicate. And I say, Amen to that, Mama Jane, amen. So she put me in touch with the office manager and then of course, what am I doing? Crying on the phone because it was so upsetting to me that this happened. And both of them were nice. The head nurse was nice, the office manager was nice. And I just said, look, I don't wanna get anyone in trouble. Everyone who I've spoken to at your office was lovely, but lovely doesn't get results. And I appreciate that they were kind when I called. She goes, but you're right. You shouldn't have had to call here every single day. And let's take out the fact that your mom has had cancer four times and you've had cancer. You should have gotten a phone call. And I think that's what I wanted her to know, that this is not okay. And I said, look, I'm listening to your on hold music right now and this recording is talking about how you are so communicative and you pride yourselves on you know, communicating so that patients don't have, don't have to have stress and anxiety. Ugh. Anyway, I felt better after I did that. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is because you have to be an advocate for your own health. Whether it's your own health or your parents or a friend or another family member, you have to speak up. You cannot let situations like this go by and it just be okay. And if we don't speak up and advocate for our health, who's going to? So. I just wanna encourage you that if you have a situation like this, don't just sweep it under the rug and go, oh, they'll get back to me or they'll call me. Just be kind. I was kind, I didn't get mad. I mean, I cried, that was not, <laughs> was not my fault. I, was in, I actually cried probably to three different people over the course of a week because I had just, I had just been done. I was done, I was at my wits end. I just wanted the results. All of that to say, yes, I am still cancer free, which is so exciting. It is so exciting. And it reminds me that good things are coming. They're here. 
Maybe this is an indication that even though this year has been so stinky for our family and so many other families, maybe this means good things are coming in the new year. I'm just, you know, I'm hopeful that that is the case. Um, thank you for letting me share my story and thank you for all of your prayers um, during this last week while we've been waiting. It has been so stressful, but I am so happy to still be cancer free. Yay! Whew! Okay, now let's get to the good stuff. I had to show you something I bought over 2020. It was really cheap when I bought it, but I saw this on TikTok. <laughs> yes, because we're on TikTok all the time. I saw this on TikTok and you're like, okay, so what is that? It is a mini waffle maker. I saw it on TikTok because I started living a keto lifestyle almost a year ago now. I started in January at the beginning of the year. And so I started just watching all these keto recipes and fun things that people were doing with this little waffle maker. And it's just a little mini waffle maker. So what I've been doing, is so you sprinkle cheese, you can make all these different things, little pizzas on here. But I had to, <laughs> so funny now that I'm really saying it out loud. I had to tell you about this because I made fried pickles the other day and you're like, uh, what, come again? Yes, fried pickles. I love fried pickles. I haven't had fried pickles in, I don't know, forever. So I got this recipe where you, you have to spray it with, you know, some sort of cooking spray and you sprinkle cheese on this. Then you put three pickles, that's what I did. Sprinkle more cheese, Hello. open it up. I actually was going to do it live Maybe I will, but then I like, I don't want you to think like I'm doing a cooking show because I don't cook and I'm not really good at it, but I've been making some fun things on my little mini waffle maker and you let it cool and you take it out and then you can cut it up in pieces or you just dip it like a taco into some ranch dressing. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to put the link. It, it's my Amazon. Yes, it's an affiliate link. So I get like a teeny tiny commission if you buy one. But when I bought it, it was $9.99. <laughs> I used some Amazon points to buy it. I think they're like 20 bucks now. But anyway, I'm gonna put the link, not for any other reason, like if you don't wanna buy one, that's fine. I just had to tell you what I have been making with my $10 waffle maker and I'm so, I'm so proud of my little waffle maker. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll put the link in the comments um, if you want to buy one. It's not so fun to clean, but is any waffle maker, Fun to clean but no just a little whoop, whoop. it's great i love it and i make little pizzas um, i made a little egg waffle where i did it like an egg in there with cheese and put a little drip of maple syrup mind blowing mind blowing mind blowing it is so good and yeah there you go like i said i'm not a cook but i don't know maybe i should just Maybe I should make one coffee combo Wednesday where I just make you a bunch of things in the waffle maker. It would really be a hot mess because that thing is a little messy when you're putting cheese, like it oozes out, so you gotta put something underneath. But it would be so fun to do that with you, I think. I don't know, maybe not. Comment below if you, uh, if you, wanna, if you wanna see that, my little mini waffle maker cooking show. <laughs> All right, and finally on Coffee Combo Wednesday, I have to tell you what my husband and I have been binge watching. It's not going to be for everybody, but we have been binging Cobra Kai. If you don't know about Cobra Kai, it picks up like 30 years later after the Karate Kid. And I loved the Karate Kid when I was a little girl. Of course, I had a little crush on not Daniel LaRusso. I mean, he was cute, Ralph uh, Macchio. He was cute, but uh, no, I'm completely blanking. Johnny Lawrence. The blonde, I always thought he was so cute and he was like the bad guy. They now, 30 years later, have started the show. I think they did it on YouTube first. I wanna say it came out maybe in 2018 on YouTube, but then Netflix picked it up. So they have just done two seasons of it and the third season is next week, I think on the 8th or maybe the week after, I think it's January 8th. Now, parental disclaimer. There is a lot of inappropriateness in there, which I was a little surprised, but I am thinking maybe because it's Netflix, but Johnny is a little vulgar, his character, I mean, not in real life. 
Johnny's a little vulgar, and there are just some moments that I'm like, oh, okay, definitely not for the kids. But if you loved the Karate Kid, I don't know what it is. It's like reliving my childhood. And I keep waiting, I'm like, oh, are they gonna bring so-and-so back? Oh, are they gonna bring so-and-so back? And I get so excited every time I watch it. And my husband's totally into it. I love it. I don't know, I mean, when does that happen? It's like Fuller House. You know, it's like something you watched when you were little, and now you get to see them all as adults. Like, I love that Netflix is doing this. Like, it's such a cool thing. I, like if they did a Friends now, oh my goodness, wouldn't that be the best? But if you loved Karate Kid when you were a little kid, you might like this. Like I said, lots of words I'm not a fan of and a little bit of an inappropriateness. So definitely not for the kids. I don't even think, like I wouldn't let my teenager watch it for sure. And even like there are a couple of things that make me go, oh, mm, mm, can you use a different word or different language? If you can get past that, like we've been trying to get past it, it is really, it's just cool to see like the battle pick up 30 years later, you know, wax on, wax off, paint on, paint off the fence. Or what is it, paint up, what is it? Wax on, wax off, paint up and paint down and you know, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we love it. It's like reliving our childhood and I had to tell you about it because it just makes me kind of silly and happy to watch a silly show. And I can't wait to watch the third season. We are almost done. No, no, we just started the second season, so. Okay, and finally, before we get out of here and you can start your brand new 2021, I wanted to show you <laughs> what I bought for you because I love this so much. I am a big fan of a fanny pack. I probably have three, which is not a lot. I have one that I always use when I go to the parks or somewhere where I just wanna have, you know, hands free. I have a black one, I've used it for years. But I love a fanny pack. So when I saw this Mickey fanny pack, um, it's from the I Love New York line. So it's a Mickey fanny pack, has this cute little I Love New York tag right there. And then it's just a zipper. I don't think that there's a zipper inside. Um, nope, it's just one big zipper, but big enough to hold your cell phone. And then adjustable strap, you know, and now, now the kids, are strapping them almost like a crossbody, so you could do that if you want or just wear it you know like a regular fanny pack but i love it it retails i think for is it, is that, where is it six oh no yep 16.95 so 17 dollars fanny pack so cute with mickey on it i love it so much and i got it for you because i just thought it was so stinking cute and it's perfect to wear to the park or wherever i mean you don't even have to wear it if you're going to disneyland or walt disney world i just think it's so cute so if this is your first time, you're like, well, how do I win that? All you have to do is comment Mickey, comment Mickey in the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Cabo Wednesday, and then you have a whole week to enter, and then we will announce the winner on next week's show and below on the comments on this show. But here's the thing. If you're watching this on Facebook, the way for you to get two bonus entries, because you can get a total of three entries, if you're on Facebook, you go to YouTube and Instagram, and you can also enter there. You put Mickey and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. If you're watching on Instagram, you can go to YouTube and Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, you can go to Facebook and Instagram. Here's the thing. If your name is Minnie Mouse on one and Cindy Simmons on another and Minnie Mouse 567, let me know your name so I can match up all your entries when you're entered in there. Total of three entries you can get. Mickey and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. That's it. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Can you see how cute that is? So cute. Okay. That is Coffee Combo Wednesday for Wednesday, December 30th, episode 241, the last episode of the year. Yahoo! Let's be done with this year. Good things are coming. Yes, you can order this uh, sweatshirt if you just message Shushu Baby on Facebook or Instagram. It's so cute and it's so soft and comfy. And uh, I cannot wait to see you next year. Thank you for being here throughout this entire year. I know it is, oh, I'm gonna get all emotional. I know it has not been a good year for many of us. And I appreciate that you watch this show. When you support me by watching this show or you buy a waffle maker through my Amazon link or use my Amazon link to buy anything on Amazon, it helps support my family. When you go and like Shushu Baby Boutique on Facebook or follow Shushu Baby Boutique on Instagram, that helps my family. When you order something from Purdue Farms, 
using my link, that helps my family. When you support my work on PartyCity.com, that helps my family. And all of that is really appreciated. So thank you so much. I'm excited to have more giveaways with Purdue Farms. We're gonna have, actually I know, but I can't tell you yet, but we're gonna have a Purdue Farms Yummy Box Bundle giveaway coming up, um, either maybe next week or the week after, which I'm so excited about. And I think I may even have a Shoo Shoo Baby um, Boutique giveaway coming up. I was even thinking, what would you think if I did the show from Shoo Shoo Baby Boutique one time? I thought it might be fun, maybe do like a little fashion show in the background. I, I don't know, I'm just I'm thinking of fun stuff maybe doing a little more live on location show, which I thought would be fun, maybe in the parks, in the Disney parks. So anything that you're thinking you might wanna see, comment below, let me know. I cannot wait to do 2021 with you. I'm gonna give you a cheers. Follow me on all the socials by going to cindysimmons.com. Of course, we're on TikTok all the time. I am Cindy Simmons and on Instagram. Thank you for being here. Happy New Year to you. I cannot wait to see you next year when everything hopefully will be better in 2021. Cheers and spread joy and kindness like Nutella. Love you, bye.